Alrighty guys, welcome back to another single player episode. Uh, last time we were playing, if I remember correctly, we just processed a bunch of stuff. Made these nice little piles, and uh, I don't know if there's quite enough there to get a truckload's worth yet. So, what I think I might do is I might keep bunching for a bit in this video, and we'll clean it up here. Oh, just give me one second here. I'm just going to swap the battery. There we go. Should have done that before I started the video, but I didn't notice it. So there we go. We're good now. So we're going to pop over to our buncher profile here. And we're going to keep cutting. So I'm just going to figure out what I want to do. Keep making piles and drag them back up there and process them. That's going to be the idea. Pretty straightforward, eh? Uh, ba -da -ba -bum. So my release for my V5 version 5 pack is uh, eminent here. It's probably going to be sometime on Friday or Thursday morning, tonight, Friday morning, whatever you want to call it. So it's uh, getting pretty exciting. Hopefully it'll be everything everybody hoped it would be. Like I said, I've done some pretty thorough testing. I hopefully got her all covered now. Oops. Oh, shit. Messed that guy up, didn't we? We, uh... Spent a lot of time on testing, but I'm sure somebody out there is still going to find something that is issuey with it. Whoops. These stupid trees. There we go. Whoop. Slide it, twist it, drop it. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Let's keep the cutting going here. Tilt our body a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna drop these guys singularly here. It's a lot nicer how much progress you can make with these uh, smaller trees as opposed to using the bigger ones. I'm also working on a Laterno, which I'm. I don't know, we'll see how this video goes. I might show it off this video. Maybe not. Maybe we'll practice a little more before I show it off. I haven't decided. Ah, oh, no! Oh, I thought I had it. Darn little trees. <coughs> Let's get all the trees that close together. It's so hard to get them. Get them right on. Let's see if we can pick this little guy up. And throw you with the rest of them here. Perfect. Hmm. We'll cut out all this stuff down to the creek here. Up, up, ah! Wow, <coughs> we're definitely not perfect this morning. Holy cow! Dropping these buggers. Come on, get out of there. I actually managed to drop that one right perfectly between those two trees. Foolish. Alright. We'll pick oops, we'll pick these two trees out and we'll call that a pile. And then, we can move on to the next one. Hmm. We can just cut them both. Oh, like a boss, look at that. Let's see where we're going before we back up here. Alright. Getting a nice little pile there. A good workout on this machine's tracks here. There we go. Alright. <coughs> now we're set. Perfect. Oh, 
definitely got some new map ideas <coughs> that I want to try out soon here, hopefully. But like I said, once I'm off work, I'll be able to spend a little more time <coughs> modding and stuff. Hey, sorry, I got this stupid cough. <coughs> Excuse me. There's so many bad colds going around in this town right now, it's just stupid. And for some reason, I just seem to catch them all. Probably because I work in customer service a lot of the time, so I get to come in contact with all the new strains of flus and colds going around. That's alright, we'll survive. One way or another, we'll make it. There we go. Bloop. Ah, crap. Hmm. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lay this guy right here for a minute. See if we can scoop this guy out of there. Nice. Oops. Well, it was almost nice. <laughs> now it's a creek tree. I got to fix my triggers. Man, my triggers are starting to die so bad. I guess it's been almost, you know, three years worth of, well, maybe not three years. I'll go with two years worth of smashing the buttons and processing and hitting the triggers a hundred thousand times. So that'll probably do it. We could probably cross the river and go get that stuff, but we might do that after we clear out six here. Is just head right across the river and clean it out. <clears throat> don't really know what I'm going to do with these, uh... don't really know what I'm going to do with those big river trees. I might just leave them standing. Leave some decoration. <laughs> We're coming with the grapple, so I guess you could probably do a pretty good number to them. Making our own roads. And it's probably good enough for a little mini a mini bunch there to grab. I was also experimenting on the Laterna last night. It's uh I decided to make it not a turn style body where the whole body pivots. <laughs> Which again some people will be hating, but man, it's so much nicer and it's so much better control, it doesn't jump around and be all stupid. Like I said, I still haven't seen any progress from that drive control mod, but for doing the, uh, for doing that style of free turning or whatever it's called there. But man, I'd sure like to have something like that just by itself, even without the rest of the drive control stuff. So until then, I'm going to keep the skid or the skid or the Laterno a single body non-pivoting device. I have it just so the back tires turn. Uh, it looks alright. It's got a horrible turning radius, but I mean, for when you're using it in a mill yard, it's not like you're gonna bring that sucker out to the bush or anything, so I can just do that. And I figure that's good enough. Well, I was thinking about doing it to the skidder, too, actually, just making it so the back tires turn. It'll look kind of silly, but I think you get way better performance out of it, honestly. Because in its current state, it's kind of ugly. Ugh. Let me do this here. I didn't even know there was another tree there. I got two, and I didn't even know it. Let's see here. Let's see if we can sneak this one out of here. Oh, oh, easy way. There we go. Well, close-ish anyway. 
I'm gonna do is get this little one right here. There we go, now we're making some progress. Nah, let's just kinda see if we can squeeze this pile together here a little bit. another little skid pile just kind of right next to it here. Now this bunch is pretty darn close to getting... well I think it's as close as you can get to realistic as possible right now but I definitely wish it would cut a little more realistically like he could really just give her shit and ram it into trees but I wish that cut node would <coughs> pick up a little bit better for distance because it seems to hang a bit mm, yeah going on here kind of doing the funky chicken there aren't we Just gonna bump this guy up a little bit here. There we go. <clears throat> Some of these trees just really don't want to play play nice here. That beautiful bunching pile. Proud of that. I have to start another pile here. That one's getting pretty full too. Maybe we will start another one right here. Just maybe. Right. There we go. So yeah, like I said, I have lots of ideas for some new, some new fun maps and stuff. So hopefully we can get on that eventually. Hopefully they'll be just as good as I'm hoping they'll be. I always get like a vision in my head of what I want to make, and then I try my best to copy it, but sometimes it works out, sometimes it's not quite what I wanted. This map actually ended up being pretty close to what I wanted. It's, it's a beautiful map, but um, there's definitely a few things I wanted to do differently, but sometimes you just can't always get it the way exactly you exactly want it. Okay, I mutilated some trees in there too when I just did that cut. Oh well. It happens, you know? It happens. And then, what I was going to try, which I may even try in this video, was I was going to use the grapple saw to try to make some cut-to-length logs. But I think it might end up being a little bit messy, so I don't know. We'll see. It could also be really fun. I'm definitely interested... Oops. I'm definitely interested in the idea of mass cutting shorts not saying I don't like processing, but when you get to this small stuff all the time, sometimes it's nice to just make a pile really quickly. Yeah, man. There we go. Right in there. Alright, we're going to do a back cut on these couple trees, and then we should probably skid some of this stuff up. Oh! Apparently there's two trees in there. And yeah, I don't think we got either one of them. Here, I'll push this guy down. Oop. We're stretching pretty far here with our claw. <laughs> Should probably walk up here a bit, I guess. Ah, money bugger. swing over here and hopefully we can land these right in this pile. Well, sorta. 
Well, I can see this one's gonna be a problematic little bugger. Ah, stuck on a tree over there, that's the problem. Man, this guy is just one awkward bean, I'll tell ya. There we go. Close enough. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll just keep cutting this way. Ah, I hate these little trees, they're so annoying sometimes. And we're gonna drop, whoops. See how they go all fling around like that? It's so annoying. There we go, let's just drop it right in here. What I should do maybe is make the cut node a little longer, I'm thinking. I think I probably said that before, but... I mean, they're good enough for what they are now. They work pretty good. Ugh. An intertwined pile of trees there. So now we have a really lush map. So now what I want to do is I want to make another snow map. And I want to make a... I don't know how you'd call it. Something like... I don't know. I, I don't even know what you'd call it. Sort of a deciduous -y kind of looking map, I guess you'd say. But, uh... We'll see. We should have lots of time on our hands coming up here, so... We'll have lots of time to experiment with maps and styles and trees and all that fun stuff. You can see that. Push it up with this. There we go. Oop. Screwed that up now. Try to keep them close to butted as possible so that when the, you skid them it makes a nice, nice little thingy there. I'm just kind of picking one out of that pile because I don't know where the next tree is, so it's hard to see. So I'm just kind of playing it by ear here. Should be able to get this one and the white one here. That one and the little birch. There we go. Now we've cut a nice little line here at least. That looks a little bit better. So that's kind of our our line. I think we'll just keep this line right here. Maybe we'll actually cut a couple of these out just to kind of clean it up. And that one. There we go. Yeah, see now we're making sort of a little line here along the edge. And it keeps everything all nice and separate. There we go. Very nice. Let's just see here. Get an outside view of the world. I should probably make a nice picture here. Just gotta get the right angle on it. I spent 20 minutes of trying to get the perfect picture. That'll be this video! <coughs> trying to get the nice shot. We'll make a nice thumbnail. Come on now. There we go. Look at these piles. It's actually pretty nice, eh? Huh? I think it looks pretty good. 
Wish you could do like a. Well, I guess you could kind of do like an aerial shot. So that one tile kind of went to crap there, but that's because I probably cut that tree out of there and it all fell apart. All right, let's park this guy over in the toolies here. There we go. I'm also thinking I might get my uh, my webcam back again, just so you guys can see me operating controls. Oh, we're at 20 minutes already. Jeez, time flies when you're having fun, hey? We'll let her go for another little bit here. That's actually a cool picture too. Look at all these cool pictures, man. I like taking pictures. It's what I do, man. It's what I do. So, uh, maybe what we'll do first is we'll chip up all this crap that we made here. And then I might low bed out the... OXB. There we go. I'll, oops. I'll low bed out the... Um, grapple loader, maybe. Clean up all the garbage. Yeah, we've got a lot of trees, eh? That's quite a bit of scrap. <laughs> For how much scrap is here versus how many trees are actually here, it's kind of funny. Alright. So now what we're going to do... I don't know what we're going to do. I have no idea. We're just going to try it out here. So we're going to move this guy first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to low bed a uh, grapple loader out. And I'm going to have some fun making some crappy looking logs. You know what? The only the only problem with the grapple loader is to delimb, I'm going to have to like manually delimb all of those trees with the chainsaw. And that's going to take a moment or two, let me tell you. Technically what I could do is I could cut them into longs and then cut them into shorts, but I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work, so... Let's do a little delimbing. Ah, the sounds of nature. I think my other piles will be easier to delimb because they're less wacky like this one. Less, lack less wacky than this one. But the only reason I'm doing this is because next up we are going to uh, like I said use that grapple saw but it needs to be delimbed in order to do our cut to length with the grapple saw and we're just gonna make a general mess of things it'll be fun Not to mention it'll be kind of fun loading some crappy looking lengths on truck too, so it's not always perfect all the time. Perfect all the time gets kind of boring, so if you've got some kind of messy stuff mixed in with your other stuff, it makes loading... Sometimes it makes loading a challenge, sometimes it makes it a nightmare, but that's what we're here to do, have some fun and challenge ourselves. funny, after you remove all the limbs, it doesn't look like a lot of logs laying around, does it? <laughs> see here. Never does, does it? I'm getting text messages from a strange number. Whatever, we'll deal with that later. From a number I do not recognize. Some guy sent me a picture of, like, concrete in the ground or something. And he's like, oh, this concrete's broken, but I have no idea what the number is. <laughs> It must be a contractor or something, but I'm like, uh, wrong number, or maybe it's somebody I know, but I can't imagine anybody I know who would send me a picture of concrete being broken on the ground. I see we have a tree right in the middle of our stuff here. I wish I could make something that just strictly delimbs and that's it. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, I probably could. I could actually have a machine that delimbs a whole tree in seconds, I bet. Or I could set a delimb on cut and then set the whole node 
so that the tree is super um, taken apart. Man, I'm messing up these trees pretty good here. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing pretty good here. And then after I'm done cutting, I think I'll stop the video and I'll start another one right away. And we'll call that a separate episode because we're going to be well over our 30 minute mark after I'm done this, I think. Or pretty darn close to the 30 minute mark. I'm trying to keep them close to 30 because um, it's uh, quite a bit of space on my computer when you do more than that. And it takes a lot longer to upload the bigger ones. matter about the tops. I'm gonna suck all those and kill them all here anyway. Snip, snip, kill them all. What oh, was this one? Like I said, it doesn't look like as many trees now that all the limbs are gone, hey? <laughs> Funny. Sound of the chainsaw. That's what I want to hear in the morning. Jeez, I didn't realize I was dropping these right into the trees like this. That's kind of funny. Everything actually fell so nicely. See now, if it was those big trees that we had before, and they do not fall nicely, they would get hung up on all this crap and bounce around in the pile. And where's this tree? Oh, there we go. There. I think we pretty well have them cleaned up. Oh, one sec here.